Hi, this is Jim, a meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Grand Forks with a weather and climate briefing. This briefing will cover what occurred during the month of November and give an outlook into December and the rest of winter. First, let's look at the temperature trends of 2017. These are monthly departure from normal temperatures for Fargo, North Dakota. Months in red are the months that have been warmer than normal and months in blue have been colder than normal. Most of the months during this past year have, at Fargo have been above normal, but November should buck that trend and end up a little below normal. This slide looks at monthly precipitation departures from normal at Fargo. The months in brown have been drier than normal and the months in green have been wetter than normal. Again, most of the months in 2017 have been drier than normal at Fargo and that includes November. The next slide shows how much liquid precipitation fell during November. Grand Forks basically had a little more than Fargo. Devils Lake, North Dakota, Baudette, and Park Rapids, Minnesota are missing because liquid precipitation is not accurately measured by the automatic sensors during winter months. What about snowfall amounts? Again, Grand Forks has had more than Fargo. Looking at 2017 through the month of November, both Grand Forks and Fargo are below normal for precipitation. However, Fargo is 7.32 inches below normal, quite a bit more than Grand Forks. There was a long duration snowfall event at the beginning of the month from the 3rd through the 5th, which brought 4 to 8 inches of snow to areas along and north of the Highway 200 corridor. This snow event was fueled by a stretch of cold temperatures, especially for areas that got most of the snow. Temperatures were particularly cold from November 5th through the 10th. Despite the cold air temperatures, the lake temperatures were warmer. These temperature differences help fuel lake effect snow. Traditionally, we hear of lake effect snow near the Great Lakes. However, lake effect snow can happen downstream of smaller lakes too. The early November cold snap caused lake effect snow downstream of many smaller lakes over this part of the region. Roosevelt, Minnesota webcam caught lake effect snow downstream of Lake of the Woods the morning of November 9th. November 10th brought the coldest morning lows for many areas, especially over northwest Minnesota, with Shooks, Minnesota reaching 17 below. Temperatures did moderate somewhat through the middle of November, which melted what little snow had fallen south of the Highway 200 corridor. By November 19th, you could drive about 10 miles south or east of Grand Forks and go quickly from snow cover to no snow. This satellite image shows that very well. November 20th was a very windy day, even in the wooded areas of Minnesota. Devil's Lake recorded highest gust at 57 miles per hour. By late November, temperatures took a swing back to the warmer side. On November 24th, low temperature at Fargo was 35 degrees. This set a record high minimum temperature for the day. Record highs at Grand Forks Airport and Fargo were tied on November 27th. These warm temperatures melted a lot of the remaining snow along and north of the Highway 200 corridor. This was followed by another windy day on the 28th. Once again, the peak speeds occurred at Devil's Lake area. More record highs fell on November 29th when Fargo hit 52 degrees and Grand Forks Airport hit 49. November 29th was also windy, but this time from the south. Warm temperatures and low humidity values led to a high fire danger threat. One wildfire occurred near Hankinson. Let's take a look at, ahead into the month of December. December is the first winter month. During December, normal highs start out in the mid-20s, but they fall into the teens by the end of the month. The winter months are the driest months of the year, typically less then an inch of liquid precipitation falls during the month of December. The winter solstice occurs on December 21st, which is the longest night of the year. At this point, the days will slowly get longer. What types of weather can occur in December? Well, until snow covers the ground, there can be periods of increased fire danger. However, most of the events in December involve some sort of winter weather, strong wind, or a combination of the two. This is the Climate Prediction Center's December temperature outlook. For eastern North Dakota and northwest quarter of Minnesota, there's no clear signal, but there are hints that it will turn colder. The, the Climate Prediction Center's precipitation outlook for December, most of the northern plains, they expect above normal precipitation. For the winter, 
the Climate Prediction Center expects the colder than normal temperatures for eastern North Dakota's north and northwest Minnesota. And for precipitation, Climate Prediction Center is going for wetter than normal conditions. So sum up, cold and snowy for this winter as La Nina kicks in. That concludes the climate briefing. Thanks for listening.